Hi, this is Michael Kidd, aka Linux Kid, here to demonstrate my reverse osmosis control system. It's uh, Arduino powered and has two remote displays that show the current state of the system, the pump, and the fresh and gray water tanks. Um, the reason I've got two tanks on there is it's designed more for RV use. Uh, it could easily be adapted for non RV use as well, but um, right now the design is that the fresh water from the RO system goes into the freshwater tank which is then pumped out and used to run the whole RV. Um, the gray tank is usually where the shower and sink drains go and we're also using that to collect the brine in case we're not hooked up to a sewer connection but normally we would have the sewer connection open on the gray tank so that uh, the brine would just flow straight through. Um, the displays are going to be connected back to the main Arduino which is going to be in a storage base someplace to actually control the pump via an RJ45 connection uh, and a regular network cable. So uh, also with the displays are going to be a momentary push button switch so that you can cycle through the different states of the system and uh, I'll go ahead and I'm going to use this grounded pin to simulate the push button switch and so we can see off enable RO you notice the inverted color goes away and you also notice the pump kicked on but it took three seconds from the time I selected that option. Uh, that's there so that you can cycle through the options without the pump actually taking uh, effect and cycling the pump on and off whatever while you're selecting the options. So I can go to force. Um, so that's you'll see here now the pump goes to force mode so um, it's going to keep that enabled no matter what the float switches do and then we'll go back to off and after three seconds the pump is back to idle again. So we'll go back to enable which makes it in automatic mode basically. We can tell the pump is on we can also see that the relay is energized for it but now I'm going to simulate a high tank level so now the gray tank is high the relay shuts off immediately the pump indicator goes to idle as soon as the gray tank drops again, it calls for more RO because the fresh water is also low. So now we'll say the fresh water is full. Again, it shows that it's full, shows the pump is idle, and the relay is de-energized. So that's it. Um, hopefully uh, somebody will get some use out of this. I just designed it to kind of scratch an itch, and uh, hopefully it'll make some use somewhere else. Have a great day.